fun. So today I'm going to make this Kore Seto popping cooking set. I got this from paperpastels.com and let's go ahead and open it. This is my first popping cooking ever, so <laughs> I hope I don't mess up or anything. So I'm pretty sure you guys see like thousands of popping cooking videos, but <laughs> I just wanted to try it out and I wanted to show you my first experience with you guys. This is what it comes with. The curry flavoring. Potato. So this is the potato powder and the little crunchy things that I get to snap later. This little shovel spoon thing. And of course the plastic. It looks a little bit banged up so I'm gonna straighten it out a little. Okay, now it's all set to go. So I'm going to cut out where it's indicated. Little triangle thingy. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to cut right here. Yep. I don't know why, but I like the sound of it cutting whenever I'm watching these videos. Okay, so let's make the rice first. So rice it. Mm. Which one does that go in? So the rice is going into this music note box and I don't know if you can see it. There's a music note in there. Pour all of it in. And I think I'm supposed to put two little cuppies of cups. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add two of these. Then I'm just going to mix it up. Oh, it's this. Even the rice smells like curry. What? Okay, it's all done now. So now it's time to move on to the potatoes. I think I'm just gonna put it on my plate. My ugly plate. I couldn't find a cute one for you guys. I'm sorry that it's ugly. Okay, I'm gonna use this circle area as a mold for the rice so I could just flip it over onto the plate. At paperpastels.com, I think. The prices are way cheaper than what I've heard they are at supermarkets and I chose to get the curry set because I heard it's being discontinued so I wanted to grab it at the chance while I had still had the chance because I really wanted the ramen one but I heard that was discontinued too and so I chose a discontinued one to be my first pop and cooking set to make it special and this has not been expired yet. I checked the label on the packaging and it says December of this year, so it's good still. So that's what my little curry looks like. <laughs> okay, onto the potato, and I'm pretty sure I'm using this container for the potato. Potato time. Sorry if my Japanese sounds really horrible right now because I haven't studied it in a year. I could still read it and pronounce it good, it's just that I'm not used to saying it. So this one needs just one cup and that's a shame because I love pouring this. <laughs> Time to mix it up. I guess it's a finer powder so it only needs one scoop. Okay, I think I put a little bit too much but that's okay. It's all good. Oh, this smells so good. I don't know what the flavoring. It's like beef flavored ramen noodles. Like the instant noodles. That's what it smells like, but a bit more spicier, like a curry. I don't know, it's just really, it's a really nice smell. This is how I imagine the ramen one smelling like. I haven't, like I said, tried. Okay, that looks about done. So I think I'm supposed to make cute shapes with this. <laughs> yep, I'm supposed to make cute shapes with it. What should I make, guys? I'm gonna try making a, a bear. This is when I'm pretty sure being a polymer clay artist comes in handy. I'm not sure though. So let me see how much I would, I would need. Maybe I wanna use about half. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Rirakuma shape. I need like a mat or something. I'll I'll use my plate. It's more of a hamster. Okay, let's see. Ah, so bulgy. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I should not be allowed to make any of these popping cooking kits. Okay, 
almost got the shape down. Now I just need to add the ears. I don't know what I'm going to make with the other one. This one's too tiny. Or that one's too big. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this one and put it over there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be, and maybe it's super simple. Okay, so for the next one, what should I make? Maybe just a heart. So I'm gonna press like this. Okay, that one looks pretty good too, so let's go on to, to make the crunchies. So for the crunchies, I'm supposed to put them in here and roll around the thingies in them. So I guess here comes the fun part. Open it. And let me scoop out my Yirakuma. Hopefully he doesn't eat all of it. <laughs> you know he likes to eat. There is my Yirakuma. And next is the heart. My heart's a little uneven, but I think that's okay. And there is my heart. Here is my plate so far, and now I, all I need is the curry. Yay! Time for the best part, I think. Kudair! Oops. Psh. I'm so bad at you got this, you guys. <gasps> There's like little vegetables in it. So I'm supposed to pour two cups into the curry. <gasps> Here comes the fun part. You have no idea how fun I think pouring water into a cup is. I spilled some, so maybe just a tad more. Okay. And that's the second cup. Time to mix it up. It's like little mini peas or carrots in there. I really can't wait to taste this. The funny thing about this is that just before I made this set, I ate curry and uh, a baguette, and I think that's how Vietnamese people eat it, curry, but they also eat it with rice. It just tastes really, really good, just like with bread, and it's a nice combination because the curry is spicy and the bread, it cools it down. So I think this is pretty ready. Let's pour it onto the rice. I have to make this look pretty. So this was my poppin' cooking success, I think. Now it's time to try it out. It sounds like potatoes, a combination of potatoes and the ramen beef noodle flavor. And I'm pretty excited to try this out. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be spicy because it's candy. So let's try the rice and the curry first. Destroy my beautiful creation. It definitely tastes like a muted curry and rice. It, it definitely tastes like curry and rice, but the texture is spot on. Okay, let's eat the rest of this sucker. I'm gonna try. No, I don't want to break the heart. Bye-bye, heart. Oh, I'm so cruel. So let's try the potato, or I think it's a croquet. So but the potato tastes pretty much like the rice. It has pretty much the same texture, but the crispy, crunchy thingies make it taste better. So I ate like half of it already. I'm gonna go ahead and mic put this on a different plate and microwave it, and I'll tell you how it tastes like because I'm pretty sure this will taste better when it's warm. Okay, I'm back and I microwaved it in the plastic carton thingy, but I know microwaving plastic is bad for you, but... I didn't want to waste another plate, so I microwaved it for 10 seconds and it's already pretty hot or warm. So let me retry it with like all three things. It 
So my review for the Kare Seto Papan Kuchen is that it tastes pretty good for the first half and then the second half just <laughs> it's not that great anymore. So if you can get your hands on one because it's being discontinued, I would say try it. It's pretty good and if curry, you love curry, then maybe this is your thing. And if you don't like curry, maybe just try it out for the kicks. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed my review slash demo and thanks for watching. Bye!